Hey guys, what is going on? It's Hamish and welcome back to Income Stream Surfers. I wanted to uh, quickly give credit to Yaseo again, who keeps surprising me with really, really good videos. Um, in this video, he talks about um, a method using Redbubble itself, which is so simple and yet also so powerful, but I'm also gonna add to the method, but still credit to Yaseo. As usual, great content and keep it up. Okay, so what he tells us to do is go on Redbubble itself. So obviously I normally use Ahrefs or Google to do my research, but in this case, we're actually just gonna press enter here on the search bar. And I don't think Yesio uh, showed, basically Yesio said write something like winter here. But I think it's actually better to just press enter on the search bar and then we can search through these ourselves, okay? So let's say we occupations. Occupations because they're often good text-based designs. So I'm going to click occupations and guess what it's going to give us? It's going to give us an entire list of occupations that we can scroll through and click on whichever one we want. So let's go for farmer just as an example. So another thing that Yaseo talked about was, uh, wait, actually before we get into that, as you can see, it goes even deeper. So um, farming, tractor, agriculture, farm animal, farmers, farmer's wife, planter, cattle, tractors, etc. So if I click on farmer's wife, I think it might go even deeper, which is really, really interesting. And these are all niches here. Okay, so chicken farmer, farmer quote, farmer joke, farming lover. Chicken farmer is a really niche one, I would say. So probably it's quite a lot of results, actually. Wouldn't really expect that to have that many results. Okay, but what can we do here to um, get some, you know, better results than that? So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to use search operators alongside this method. So a search operator is an advanced Google search directly into Google. As you can see, I'm just typing out the search operator now. So minus people and then in text. And then we're going to put chicken farmer. Okay. 145,000 results, backyard chicken farmer, no idea what that is, 1,800 results, interesting, um, this could be a good um, keyword because if I do control F and press enter, yeah there aren't that many really, only 21 with the exact phrase match, so interesting, um, as you can see a lot of them are just going to be chicken farmer leggings, but we want things that uh, add more words on basically the more words in the keyword the better um, as yes yes also talked about chicken coop water bottle interesting probably have a lot of results because chicken coop is probably quite a popular tag only 2300 that's interesting okay so another thing we can do is we can take we can take chicken coop and we can put it also into the search operator here so there should not be a space there and yeah, so if we, let's go a little bit deeper just so that we can see some, there we go, bucket of chicken, chicken whisperer, interesting, I don't think that'll have that many results, honestly, I don't want water bottle, 4,500 results, really, wow, that's actually crazy, okay, let's go back, uh, so chicken farmer, fine, whatever, let's see what else we got here, chicken lady, interesting, so yeah, this is a really interesting method because it's like mixing two different methods at the same time, which is really, really cool. And then if you get lost at any point, you can just delete uh, the search and press enter again and we can start again. So we'll go on occupations and this time let's go on pilot. This also works just generally for print on demand. This isn't just for Redbubble because you can find good um, niches here and then put them into other print on demand websites basically. Um, so pilot, pilot, aviation, aviator, airplanes, planes. So yeah, well, Yaseo was talking about once you get on this page, you can put it on best selling and then see what the top selling designs are. And then, so for example, danger ejection seat sticker. I love that. So once you're on the Google search result page, do control F and type in red B for Redbubble, obviously. Only 52 results, really, really nice. I, yeah, that's a really cool uh, method, actually. Yaseo, fair play to you, really, really good method. I like it a lot. Uh, another thing that he talked about in his video, actually, which I've never mentioned before, um, is a website called Trademarkia. 
Uh, so yeah, I would recommend using this every time. Maybe available. Which means that you can get it, yeah. So that's fine. There's no uh, copyright on that. Uh, interesting, interesting, interesting. So the final thing I would um, I would mention that uh, Yuseo didn't mention is Ahrefs keyword generator, or we could use also like I talked about in yesterday's video, Uber Suggest. Both of these uh, can be used for free without any um, sign up at all. And the thing that we're looking for is if there is a buyer keyword in any of these. So for example, if it says sticker, then we know that it's a good keyword. Let's see if there are any keyword ideas. Yeah, perfect, sticker. This is exactly what we're looking for. The final thing that we can do is we can search this on Google and see what comes up. If it's a Redbubble search result page, then is Redbubble even on there? Yes, it's the result, yeah, it's the same thing. So very, very interesting, um, 127 results. I would say that was a really, really good keyword, honestly. Um, doesn't seem to be any on Uber Suggest. So yeah, interesting. Search volume 30, it's saying. Maybe they just use Ahrefs, honestly. I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe they have the same API. This is a pretty funny uh, t-shirt. Uh, so we'll put pilots looking down, down on people. So the good thing about this is, oh, here we go. Yeah, look at that. Uh, oh, water bottle. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's what we're talking about. Let's see how many results there are on Red Boobly. Reader Boobly. Make sure that you check the what's it called? Trademark. It might be trademarked. This. Nope, doesn't seem to be. Interesting. Yeah, this is a really really good buyer keyword. The water bottle thing. Let's see. Red Boobly. Oh, it's a product. Nice. This person is making sales, 100%. Also, this person. And also, yeah, they seem to be in the top images as well, which is really, really good for them. I love that keyword. Really, really like it. And no point using Uber Suggest because Ahrefs works just as well. But look, mug, black, really interesting keyword there as well. T-shirt, mug, picture, etc., etc. Okay, let's do one more example just to drill this in. So press enter here. Let's do something completely different, hobbies. Uh, I just wanted to mention, like some people might say that I'm, you know, ripping off Yaseo or, or whatever, but I think we're both working in the same kind of um, style where we want both of our channels to be communities. He said in his last video, he was more interested in, you know, creating content together with other people. So I'm sure he won't mind me doing this. He didn't mind me doing it last time. Um, and I have changed it a little bit by showing the, you that you can just press enter here instead of writing a keyword. So let's go on, I don't know, yoga teacher. So people will buy presents for their yoga teachers, for their birthdays, for Christmas, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Put it on bestseller and then see what comes up. Or another thing we can do, like I was saying before, is we can use search operators if we want to. If something... If, if nothing obvious comes up, then I would definitely recommend jumping into Google uh, and using Google instead. Um, so you can use both at the same time as well, kind of like I'm doing. Okay, this is absolutely hilarious. This is my yoga headstand shirt. I wonder how many searches that has. Let's put it into a, a heck refs. <laughs> the thing is, if it's a top seller on Retina, it's not interesting. It might just be because of... Um, in internal Redbubble sell sales then. Something that seems to be missing here is like a You're My Favorite Yoga Teacher shirt or something. Like I'm not seeing any design that's like a thank you for being, or just saying yoga teacher on it, like yoga teacher. Yoga teacher gifts. Uh, there don't seem to be any other, there's one. Where is that? I can see that one. To, oh, here we go. That's what I do. I teach yoga and I know things. I don't think that's a particularly good uh, design, but something like this will probably make sales. I mean, it is on the top page uh, of the best sellers for yoga teacher gifts. It, there don't seem to be that many, though. I think this could be a, a niche that we could definitely get into. Goat yoga. This is from the uh, search operators. Interesting. Goat yoga. 
Okay, so something like Ash, Ashtanga Yoga is a type of yoga, I guess. 2,000 results still, so still pretty high up there. Another thing we can do is we can put two speech marks around yoga teacher, so it only shows us results with the actual term yoga teacher in it. It seems to just be, yeah, it's just this over and over, really. Dog yoga. Ooh, pug yoga. That's a really good one. It's not exactly what we're looking for, but uh, still got loads of results. Okay, yoga is obviously quite a, you know, broad niche. Yeah, so we can basically use these as the broad, broad categories, and we can do whatever we want with them. So I hope this helps some people out. There's definitely a lot of um, things to dive into here. Um, definitely feel free to go deep into it and use both Redbubble itself and also um, Google to find some keywords. Also, uh, Ahrefs Keyword Generator and Ubersuggest will also help you out for this method. Um, yeah, hope this helps some people out and I'll see you really soon with some more content. Peace out.